Hey everybody, Luke here with CF Design, Blue Ridge Numerics. Just wanted to share with you what our latest and greatest integration looks like with Inventor 2011. And we've had an integration with Inventor for quite some time now, but that integration is even tighter with Inventor 2011's Fusion integration, allowing us to do direct model edits. Over the next few minutes, you'll see why Autodesk named CF Design their industry preferred CFD application. What I'd like to do today is set up a quick multi-scenario design study of this hydraulic valve assembly to understand the overall product performance. Step one is to get into CF Design. With a simple right click, I can launch our Design Study Manager. This is our connection from Inventor to CF Design. Once inside of CF Design, you'll notice that all of my material properties have automatically come over from Inventor. This greatly reduces the amount of time and setup involved in your simulations. The next step is to start to apply boundary conditions. In this case, I'm going to put a zero pressure on my outlet. And next, I'm going to add a volume flow rate to my inlet of six gallons per minute. Once I've set up the rest of my conditions for this simulation, I can then begin to get an idea of the overall product performance. Inside of my decision center, I can now see with a section plane the overall pressure drop through the system. I can also look at velocity magnitude, areas of high and low flow, recirculation and stagnation zones. And I can even use an ISO surface to understand the flow direction inside of the system all of these helping me identify potential problem areas. In this case, the sharp corner at the exit is a potential problem. I have a critical value of 4.25 PSI that can't be exceeded. I can see with a plot that the current design doesn't achieve that criteria. I can use an XY plot to look at the velocity magnitude through that section and also the pressure drop through that section. Once it's been determined to make a design change, I'm simply going to clone the current design. The benefit of cloning is that all of the settings we've done in this current design will automatically be transferred to the new one, greatly reducing the amount of time to set up simulations. I'm simply going to go back into Inventor and launch Inventor Fusion. One of the benefits of using Inventor Fusion is we can make edits to base solids without having to worry about the history of a model, giving us greater flexibility with the design changes we're planning on making. I'm going to grab a couple of edges, and in this case, I'm going to pull a fillet on there. Once I have the fillet at the size I want it to be, I'm simply going to go back into Inventor, and that new geometry will be ready to go. This time, when I enter my Design Study Manager with a simple right click, I'm going to update that new design. Because of the tight integration between Inventor and CF Design, all of my material properties, boundary conditions come over automatically with my new geometry. Once I've simulated, I can now look at both designs side by side. On the left panel, I'm going to cycle through both designs with velocity profiles, pressure profiles, and ISO surfaces. On the right hand side, I can look at them side by side to really understand the difference from one design to another. Keeping in mind that critical value that I had previously, I can now use that 4.25 and plot that across both of my designs. And clearly my new design passes. Next, I can use the XY plot to understand the pressure drop through the valve. All while leveraging CF Design 2010's multi-center design study, cloning, and Inventor 2011's connection to Autodesk Fusion. Don't forget to check us out at cfdesign.com.